What's up, guys? Well, I saw uh, my YouTube buddy, uh, Rick Arder, uh, overclocking his GTX 460. So, I decided to try to overclock my uh, GTX 480 more. And, uh, motherboards do definitely have an impact on GPU overclocking. I did not know this. With my old, uh, MSI board, I could only get 840 on the core. Like, max core voltage. And this time... I'm up to 870 on the core, 1740 on the shaders, and 2000 on the memory, and that's at stock volts. And that's the max I've been able to get out of stock volts. I've sat here, played games for like 5-6 hours, no driver crashing, no nothing, no artifacts, running 100% perfectly stable. So now I'm just going to run a quick... Uh, Haven benchmark, and we can check out the max temps and whatnot. So let's just, uh, what did I do with it? There it is. Turn that to extreme 16, 8x at 1920 by 1200, and run. And then I will turn the camera back on as soon as we uh, get to the end. So, now that the run's done, we got 31.1 frames per second and a score of 782. So now let's close out uh, this real quick. And go check out the temps. Oops, hit the wrong button. Says you're not helping. Okay. So the CPU peaked at 39 degrees. And the video card got up to 60 degrees. And that's a, a pretty damn good overclock for still being on stock voltages. From what I was reading, most people can't get over 850. Guess I got a better GTX 480 than I thought at first. Oh, I accidentally hit the re, uh, record button on my camera, turned it off by accident. Mainly because this cat is not being very cooperative on my lap. But anyway... Uh, I had a request to do some uh, gameplay footage of uh, Call of Duty Black Ops on the uh, on the Asus laptop over there. Somebody wanted me to play some more of the uh, campaign to see how playable it was. So I'm going to make a decently long video of that later for them. So till then, peace out guys.